today we're gonna learn the seven best tips with Flutter. Let's start with the number seven, the extensions. If we zoom over our folder, we can see that we have some icons. If you want to have this, you can go inside your extension, find the material icon theme, and download it. There is also another extension useful for Flutter, and it is the Bracket Pair Colorizer 2. This one will colorize every bracket inside your code. Number six, the dark mode. Inside your material app, you will find the team and the dark team. Those are two team data and will allow you to use the dark team or the light team in order to fit the user preferences. So right now, as you can see, we are inside the dark team and it's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. Next thing that you can use with these team data is you can find the primary color or the accent color from anywhere inside your code. By example, right now we use the team.ofcontext.accent color. This will give us the orange color. If we change this for the color pink, you will see inside our application that this drawer changed color. We can come back with what we had, so the team.ofcontext.accent color. And now let's go back inside the application and you can see that the column is now arranged to fit the accent color that we have used inside our team data. It's very nice. Number five, a responsive app. To do that, we will use the layout builder that will give us the constraints max width and max height. And this will give us the height and the width of the current device that we use. Let's go inside the application. If I shrink it down, you can see that the application changed. And this is because we will change what we will show inside our application. Now let's reduce the height and you can see that it is now 296. If you want to learn more about a responsive app, we have a complete video on this channel. I will put the link at the end of this video. Next tip, number four, the app icon. If we close our application, we can see that we have the basic Flutter icon, but we can change it this pretty easily with the Flutter launcher icon. So you just add the dependency inside your popspec.yarn, then you add your image path, and you launch everything from a simple command. And now if we come back into our application, you can close it to see your icon. Easy as this. Next tip, number three, the data management. Okay, for this one, we will use the provider. And actually inside this application, we have used the provider to show the dark or light mode. To use it, we can wrap the material app with the multi provider that will return the my app, so the material app, and we'll have the change notifier provider with the user preference. To use the magic of the provider, we will need to create a button that will trigger the user preference, like this one on the top of the application. We can create an icon button, and this icon will just need to be white or black in order to fit the user preference. After we will need the unpressed that will trigger the user preferences. If we go up, we will find where we declare this user preference and it is from the provider of user preferences. If we come back inside the main, you can see that this is exactly what we have. With all this, we use the user preference in order to set the team mode and the team mode will be used to display the team or the dark team from the material app. Please don't fall, grab your chair, and the tips number two, Google fonts. Maybe inside your application, you would like to change the fonts and you usually download the font, use it inside your pop spec, but there is something way much easier. And it is to use the style Google fonts. With this, you can have any fonts from the Google catalog like this one, and it's pretty cool. And now you may think, okay, but how do I master sweet lord home, god damn it, know which font is which? You can go inside the Google font catalogs and you will have multiple fonts. 
Now we're gonna add an epic music just to watch the dark mode and the light mode fun. That's enough. Tips number bonus time, mother fluffer. So inside your application, you can use the control space to search for any widget. For example, if you search for a button widget, you just need to write button, you control space, and you will find any available widget with this name. Next tip will be the refactor. So by example, if you have a column and you want to have a container over it, you can just refactor with the container. Easy as that. Before I show you the number one tips, you have two choice. Even you thunder shock this damn sweet lord golden button. Or, and the number one, the splash screen. You can go on Flutter Native Splash to download this package. You can install pretty much everything. You run the command, and here we go. You fuck it up, and you need to restart with the good color. So let's start this with the good color, and now you have launched the splash screen. That's it. See you in the next one. Peace.